everybody. So um, today is Christmas Eve and um, I'm in my car right now because I'm getting ready to go to practice for being uh, performing in a Christmas service. I'm going to be playing the piano. So I'm really excited and uh, I just love Christmas so I'm really excited about that. But um, that's not what this video is about. Uh, I just decided to do a little um, intro bit for the next vlog that I'm putting up. Um, this vlog is my third vlog for the Disney College program and it's going to be based on my character performer experience because um, I kind of just did a really long video the day that I got back from my Disney College program character performer audition. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up into three parts. Um, the first part is going to be um, about my more along the lines of my acceptance and how I found all of that out and then the second part is going to be um, about my experience at the audition it was a really fun experience so I'm going to talk about that and then the third part is going to be um, uh, like the tip my tips and everything for people planning on doing the audition for character performer in the future so um, hopefully you find that helpful and I'm just going to apologize um, because for waiting so long to put this up I just wanted to um, figure out the best way to kind of get it up because I knew it was going to be really long so I was trying to figure out the best way how to make that work so sorry that it's been two months in between that but I'm finally going to work on getting it up so um, again so, hope you enjoy um, today was a pretty big long day. Um, I just got back from Salt Lake City, um, Utah, in case any of you don't know where Salt Lake is, <laughs> um, and uh, in case you can't guess, I was there for my Disney College Program audition um, for Character Performer. Um, so uh, we didn't want to spend any money on staying in a hotel, so we um, went we decided to go drive um part way to twin falls where my aunt lives and then um and then get up really early this morning uh, and drive the rest of the way to salt lake so it worked out pretty well um except towards the end my mom got lost and she started to get a little freaked out but it was fine i made it and all went well um so anyway so i had that today um, as you can see, I'm actually still wearing my number as <laughs> number 11. Um, there were not very many people there at all. Um, I had heard that the Salt Lake auditions were usually pretty small. I think there were only about um, maybe a hundred people um, because, in fact, I don't think I don't think there was even a hundred people, like less than a hundred, because um, all the numbers that I had heard, well, I don't know, maybe there was a hundred people. Um, but as far as the people who made it, like past the first cut, there were no, um, numbers that were over like 95 or something. So anyways, there was not a lot of people there. Um, so anyways, um, before I get into talking about that, I want to talk about, um, something else very exciting that happened. Oh, when did I find out? Not yesterday. But the night before, at a very late hour, um, and uh, I was watching, I was planning on going to bed early so that I could get up early and work on homework. Um, I ended up watching more um, of other people's Disney program vlogs and everything and whatnot, mainly the audition ones, just because it was, my audition was coming up and I wanted to kind of mentally prep for it. Not that I haven't been doing that for the past, like, who knows how long. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I was watching one particular video. Um, this gal, her name is M Emily Berryhill. Um, I was watching her video on, on her audition um, experience because she seemed like she was a dancer. And I had mostly seen people's videos um, from a non-dancer background point of view um so i wanted to see it was hers was more from like a background of somebody who'd been dancing for a while which is my case um so anyway so i was watching that her video um and then i decided i wanted to watch one of her other videos 
So um, I went to her page and scrolled down to her first blog that talked about her acceptance. And at, up to this point, I hadn't heard anything back from Disney um, as far as my application. And I wasn't planning on hearing back from them for another few weeks because um, they said that I wouldn't hear until the end of October. Um, and today is the 7th. And um, so we're still in the beginning of October. So I wasn't expecting to hear anything for a while. Um, so anyways, she was telling talking about um, how she came across her acceptance letter and um, she was saying that she had been checking her dashboard she had left her Disney dashboard open and um, she decided she knew she wasn't expecting to hear anything um, but she decided that she was just going to refresh her um, her Disney thing even though it had already been open and she didn't see anything um, so she decided to refresh it, and um, lo and behold, there was her congratulations letter. So I was watching this, and I was like, "Hmm." And I, uh, I got, I was watching it on my phone, so I went and got my laptop, um, and opened it up to the Dis the Disney dash my Disney dashboard. And again, I wasn't really expecting to see anything because I was told that I wouldn't hear anything. For a few more weeks, so I wasn't wasn't expecting anything. So I opened my Disney dashboard, even though it's loading. I see on the side that you don't have any invitations, you don't have anything coming up. So I'm looking at the the one on this side that's loading, it's loading. And when it loads, um, it took me a while to kind of recognize it, but um, instead of the top one, that's usually the thank you for interviewing. Um, up on top it said congratulations and I wanted to scream but unfortunately it was at an hour where the rest of my family was already asleep and in bed um, so that probably wouldn't have been the best idea so I decided to scream in my head and um, have a silent mini freak out session um, because of how excited I was and um, uh, I was, I didn't know how long that had been there because I hadn't been checking my dashboard. I was expecting an email. Um, I, they told me, they told us, you know, make sure you check your dashboard, but they told me I wasn't going to hear for a while, so I thought, well, if I'm not going to hear from them, then there's no point in looking. Don't do that, by the way, because um, <laughs> obviously things can happen sooner than expected, so. Um, if they tell you to check your dashboard, check your dashboard, because <laughs> I didn't. And anyway, so I opened the letter and said congratulations, went through that whole spiel. Um, and then I saw that you have seven days to, to accept this offer, otherwise we'll assume you're declining. And I kind of freaked out because I didn't had no idea how long that, that had been on my dashboard because it had been so long since I looked. So I like panicked and like went and checked, went back and checked to see, um, what how long it had been there and it said um, October 3rd was when it sent it so um, when I looked at it it was only October 5th so I was safe <laughs> it hadn't quite been seven days yet but um, I knew I needed to kind of get get on the ball to make sure that I was had everything done by the end of the seven days seven days um, which um, I think I have uh, about three three or four more days anyway so, um, and I wanted, of course, I wanted to do everything right then because of how long I had already waited. Um, but for some reason, when I went to go to my candidate portal, um, I couldn't, <clears throat> couldn't remember my password. Um, and so I did the forgot your password and, um, put in my email and I didn't get, ever get an email, um, about, um, with to with the link to go and reset your password. So um, waited and waited and waited. I did it like I probably submitted that forgot your password thing like five times. <laughs> and uh, um, my mom was like, "Don't keep doing it because then you're gonna get like frozen or locked out." And I was like, <laughs> "That's exactly how I did it too." Um, but anyways, so. 
Um, yeah. So I was kind of freaking out because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this now, otherwise it's going to be too late. Really, it wasn't, but, you know, kind of in the moment. Um, anyways, so I was doing that and I finally gave up because it was too late and I was like, you know what, I'm going to bed because actually I didn't go to bed. I ended up doing some of my homework because I was so excited I couldn't go to sleep. Um, but I, uh, yeah, so I went to, did my homework and then went to bed and, and everything and then got up at like six o'clock in the morning to work on more homework and, um, went downstairs, brought my computer down with me and I had this big smile on my face and my dad was in there reading his Bible and I was just looking at him just like, just like smiling at him. He was like, what's going on there? And I was like, I got accepted. And that was all I said. And he was like, okay, accepted to, and I was like, really? You don't like, this is not our, like, really? <laughs> like, um, so I was like, uh, the Disney college program, <laughs> the thing that I've been talking about for like the past seven years, it's no big deal. I just got accepted. He was like, oh, oh, okay. That's wow. Awesome. And like, then went through that whole thing. And uh, my mom came out and she heard and everything. We were all excited and everything. Um, they were like, how did you find out? And I told them that. And so I finally, anyways, like later on in the day, like when in the afternoon, um, it finally went through. I don't know what I did differently. I don't remember what I did differently, but it finally went through. I changed changed my password and everything was good. So I went and I accepted my letter. I got accepted as a lifeguard, which um, is awesome because you know I worked as a lifeguard over the summer. And I really had fun, so um, I think I will really enjoy this if I can pull off actually getting through the um, the test um, again because I know I struggled with it for lifeguarding at Roaring Springs, but um, I, I mean I was able to get through it, but I felt like there was less pressure to get it done. They didn't they didn't have a certain time frame that you had to get it done. I mean, well, they did. They, it was, you had two days to do it, but throughout those days, you could kind of do it whenever you felt comfortable, and they let you do it more than once. Um, so if you didn't get it the first time, you could try again until you got it. So um, I don't know how strict they're, they are with this, so I do have six months. I can kind of prep, like, go and practice my swimming and all that stuff, and anyways. I have time. I can, I can work it out. So, anyways, that's exciting, and um, I'm waiting to find out from um, some people from my school um, to see if I can get um, take classes and get credit, um, so that I don't have to um, put myself so far behind in getting credits. Um, so, I've done the acceptance so far, or I've accepted my offer. Yeah, I accepted my offer, so now I have to submit my program fees, which I just barely have enough to submit my fees, So, um, but it's all in cash, so I have to go and deposit it and everything, so I need to do that ASAP, um, so I have to do that, and then select my program dates, which, so anyways, so I got accepted as a lifeguard, um, I went and auditioned for character performer, because that's really what I want to do. Um, and yeah, so um, so that's the main reason that I'm wanting to do the college program. Um, I mean, I love Disney no matter what, so whatever I'm doing there, I'm going to enjoy it um, because of how much I love Disney.